If you have followed the journey of Naperville quarterback Brock Rutter, you know he's one of the fiercest competitors the community has ever produced. If you haven't followed the Nequa Valley and North Central Star, here's a perfect story to bring you up to speed. We go to feed my starving children, you know, every year, and we take the team and we break them into teams and they have their sections. If you've not been there before, they have their sections and, you know, they're different countries. You know, we want to know who's going to pack the most boxes. And Brock gets there and he already has a game plan. He's already put a game plan together on how we're, how we're going to attack winning, packing the most boxes uh, for these kids in, in impoverished nations. Chance would have it that not only did Rudder bring a perfect game plan into the charity event, he had the perfect game plan for making it to the NFL. You know, the classic roadmap of starting one year in high school, head to a Division I program, transfer to Division III a year later, crush records for four years, and cap that collegiate career by winning the national title. And surreal it's been different it's been cool for not just me but for our whole school kind of getting all this national attention that that they deserve and now rudder's gps has a new destination plugged in the national football league turning his record-breaking collegiate career into a job in the nfl the qb has signed with the san francisco 49ers you know follow the journey uh through indiana state and then back at north central i mean that's uh that's incredible in itself and um, yeah, it's been it's been fun. Rudder's journey for our purposes begins at Nequa Valley. Starting his senior season, he led the Wildcats to the three seed in the 8A IHSA playoffs before bowing out to eventual state champion Naperville Central in the third round. It's really his leadership um, that that really kind of drew me to, to Brock from the start. Um, you know, he was a three sport athlete in high school. Um, you know, and, and the football piece that I knew really early that he was special. Um, you know, just being able to do the things that he was able to do with the football. Rudder parlayed a strong senior year into a scholarship opportunity with Division One program Indiana State. A sycamore for one season, Rudder quickly reopened his collegiate choices and transferred home to North Central. Becoming the all-time leader in every single passing statistic in school history, Rudder led the Cardinals to a title game win over UW-Whitewater this past December, breaking the Division Three passing yards record in the process. Even with all those accolades, the NFL draft and subsequent free agency brought uncertainty. The way the draft is fun, there wasn't a lot of quarterbacks going, so I think we, we kind of knew it was going to be with free agency, and, and we were honestly okay with that. So many people had told me, and my agent had told me, it's almost better to be a free agent than draft in the seventh round. You get to pick where you want to go, pick the fit, and, and I think I found a great fit for me. The perfect fit for him, I really do. Um, they, they were interested in him. They liked him a lot, and they've watched him for quite a while, and, and they had umpteen meetings with him virtually, as we're doing here. The whole organization, Kyle Shanahan, Coach Shane Day, the quarterback's coach, they, they're really, really good at developing quarterbacks, and, and their system doesn't ask the quarterbacks to do things that I can't do. They don't ask them to run a lot. It's a lot of drop back play action stuff, so it's great for me. It should, it should fit my game really well. The next step for Rudder is to study. Equipped with only an iPad with game tape and a playbook, studying now will help get the first time pro up to speed when the NFL resumes team workouts. It's definitely going to be a challenge this year, but I'm looking forward to it. And I can't wait to just attack it and dive into the playbook and the film and, and just not make any excuses when, I, when, when camp does come around that I'm not ready. I, I promise I'll be ready. In the meantime, Naperville watches on as its homegrown football star departs in hopes of striking gold out west in San Francisco. Reporting for Sports Story Sunday, I'm Kevin Jackman.